What is up guys, it's Swimmer here, back again with some more Gobla Battle League action. Uh, going to be using uh, the team of Alolan Ninetales, Swampert, and Jellicent that I was using in the Open Ultra League the other day. Uh, but this time I am going to be trying it in the Premier Cup, as all of these Pokemon are Premier Cup eligible. Um, in theory, I think it should work pretty much the same way, though I think on the whole it's going to be a little bit riskier because grass types are so much more common in uh, the Premier Cup than they are in Open Ultra. Um, however, you know, Pokemon like Dragonite and Kingdra that you often see in the lead uh, are really hard punished by the Alolan Ninetales, and a safe swap of uh, Gallade doesn't have a great time against really any of these Pokemon. Uh, the Leaf Blades hurt the uh, Jellicent, but the Shadow Ball one-shots, the Hexes deal super effective damage, Hydro Cannon is threatening, the Weather Ball and Dazzling Gloom are threatening. Um, so I'm thinking that uh, it should at least work reasonably well. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into the battles. Uh, I did have fairly long queue times, so maybe I should see if I can skip some of these queues. ahead. There we are. All right. Uh, nine tails into Umbreon. This is where we want to see the Umbreon, so uh, I'm definitely going to be staying in here. Um, the last resorts are not very threatening. However, um, this isn't quite as good a matchup for Alolan Nine Tails as it is in Great League, because three last resorts plus all the Snarls uh, still KOs. Uh, but a Dazzling Gleam and a Weather Ball do not KO, so you can see that we're going to need to get um, two Weather Balls off for sure. Uh, I'm still not going to shield this last resort. Uh, and they're probably going to get to another one pretty darn soon, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw the Weather Ball here. And I miscounted here, I thought that this was going to be um, a foul play. Actually, no, I shield this. So yeah, it's another last resort. Uh, I must have been thinking of a different match, and now I'm actually going to uh, farm down. And I need to save um, this Alolan Ninetales because I don't know what they have in the back yet. And it's really my only defense against uh, grass types. So, Fable coming in, I can go into my uh, Jellicent, and they respond with a Gengar. Uh, so, this is totally fine. The Hexes are going to be dealing a lot of damage, um, and they uh, one Shadow Punch is probably not going to be enough to take me out. Um, they are likely going to be able to farm down, though, which wouldn't be great. Uh, however, they decide to throw again. Uh, I was going to be close to the move. I think that they could have farmed me down, but it was very good for me because now I can come in with Alolan Ninetales and throw the Weather Ball. Uh, so I'm going to go straight for the Weather Ball here. Uh, they might just let this go. They do just let it go. Totally fine with that. I'm going to throw another Weather Ball and then see if I can get to a second one. Uh, before going down to take um, the shield from this Clefable. We are able to get to the next Weather Ball, uh, and then Swamper up a shield uh, is very easily going to be able to clean this up. All I need to do is get to an Earthquake, uh, and that will be more than enough to take him out. My opponent knows it, and so they decide to surrender. Alright, so good first match there. Let's... Uh, Scroll ahead to the next one. All right, let's see what we get on the lead here. Oh, it looks like we're getting an error six. Yeah, error six. So let's scroll ahead. All right, next battle here. We have nine tails into Gengar. Uh, this is fairly neutral, but I think uh, that we can probably win in the one shield. So we're going to build up and throw at eight here, or sorry, seven um, here. Now, I know that this could be a Sludge Bomb or a Shadow Ball, so I shield, and I successfully shield a Shadow Ball. That's huge in this matchup for me, uh, because at this point, I'm going to hit them with a Weather Ball. I'm going to throw uh, five more, uh, and then throw another Weather Ball here. Uh, this is either going to take them out or force the shield. They should have the energy for the Shadow Punch, but that should be all that they have. Uh, this is definitely just a punch. They don't have enough for the ball yet. Um, yeah. 
So I'm able to survive that and then powder snow down. Again, I'm probably gonna wanna save this um, uh, nine tails. So they come into Jellicent, I swap out right away into my, or sorry, they come into Stunfisk, I stop, swap into my Jellicent. Gonna no shield this uh, earthquake uh, and look to get off the shadow ball here. And uh, they decide to let it go. Uh, they're probably going to get to the Earthquake at the same time yet. They do a nice job of throwing on CMP. I'm actually going to shield this because I know that the third Shadow Ball is just four hexes. Uh, so I should be able to outpace them to the third Shadow Ball. Uh, they do decide to shield. Uh, quite good for me. Going to um, get to the third one here. This is definitely just going to be a Rock Slide. And because they're throwing Rock Slide, I'm not going to throw the Shadow Ball. I'm going to swap into Swampert and get ahead on Energy. If they Shadow Machamp in the back, uh, so Shadow Machamp can survive a Hydro Cannon, but not an Earthquake. So when shields are down, you definitely just want to go for that Earthquake to take it out uh, in the one shot. And then uh, they might be able to get to an Earthquake here. No, they're not able to. Uh, and so they decide to concede. Uh, we had lots of ways to win that. We still had stored energy on the Alola Ninetales. We had the Shadow Ball stored on the Jellicent. We were going to be able to get to um, a Hydro Cannon on the Swampert. So uh, we had really lots of opportunities there to um, make sure that we won that match. So uh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, so, so far, so good in this set. All right, up against the Asian Milkman here, a very talented battler. Uh, we have Ninetales into Charizard. So what I like to do here is uh, see what move it is. And so this is Dragon Breath. So uh, I have no reason to swap out. Um, these Dragon Breaths are double resisted. Uh, they have enough energy for the Blast Burn here, so I'm going to go ahead and shield. It is unfortunately just a Dragon Claw bait, so that feels bad. Uh, but I'm going to be able to throw this Weather Ball um, and then farm up to another Weather Ball. Uh, and you guys can see that does quite a bit of damage. And farm up to another Weather Ball here. We've got the back-to-back. -back, uh, and so we're going to be able to throw the back-to-back -back and force two shields out of them if they want to keep this Charizard alive. So second Weather Ball, they do decide to keep it alive, and then this is totally fine. Uh, they should have the Blast Burn again, so I'm going to go ahead and shield. But I can farm down before they can get to another Blast Burn, for sure. Uh, so it's another bait, actually, with the Dragon Claw, but this is okay. We won lead, uh, and they come in with an Obstagoon. And with shields down, to come into an Alolan Ninetales with Obstagoon means that they must be weak to it in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and build up just a little bit of energy. Uh, I am going to get hit by a cross chop here, uh, which is not great, but I'm going to build up to the uh, Weather Ball and then swap out into my Swampert. It is a Venusaur in the back. Um, I went decided to go into Swampert there because I was pretty sure it was a Grass type and I wanted to give them uh, basically a decision where they have to either throw energy or um, get taken out because I know that they can't farm um, me down uh, all the way before I get to an Earthquake and Hydro Cannon but they do have a move here for sure. So I'm gonna go into Jellicent and hope that they throw their move and don't um, farm me down. So here they are throwing a uh, Frenzy Plant. Uh, I should be able to get to an Ice Beam before they can get to another move. Uh, yeah, we can get to the Ice Beam here. This is going to be definitely enough to take out the Venusaur, obviously. Uh, and then we're gonna try and swap into our um, Alola Ninetales here and throw the uh, Weather Ball, which will take out the Obstacoon. I wanted to make sure that they didn't farm up some energy against the um, Jellicent and have a cross chop that, you know, might make me lose CMP against the Obstacle. So, um, pretty solid game there, able to win. Uh, as soon as they came into Obstagoon on the Alolan Ninetales, I knew that Alolan Ninetales was going to have a ton of play against their team. All right, getting into the next battle here. Scroll ahead. There we are. All right, on this battle we have Nine Tails into Gyarados. This is a very favorable matchup because the Dragon Breaths are resisted. Uh, I go into Swampert here. Um, and this, I think, in hindsight, is definitely a mistake. Uh, behind on energy, this is not a pa positive matchup for Swampert. Um, and uh, I should definitely be going into Jellicent because it double resists the counters. Uh, the reason I went into Swampert is because the Gyarados matchup is so bad. 
Uh, but I think I would definitely be better off to make sure that I maintained Switch uh, and kept the Alolan Ninetales on that Gyarados. I'm going to be able to get both shields from them here, because uh, this Hydro sh Cannon is going to get a shield, but they're going to be able to counter me down. Uh, and now we do not have the alignment that we need, so we're going to go ahead and bring in the Jellicent here uh, and look to get to a Shadow Ball. Uh, we are going to have to tank a Rock Slide, um, but that's totally fine. So probably deal about 40% of our health. Yeah, about 40% there. Able to get to a Shadow Ball. I decided to throw right away because I don't want them to get to another move. Uh, and they're almost certainly going to come back in with Gyarados here. They do. I swap out into Ninetales, and it's a uh, Typhlosion in the back. So you guys can see that if I would have gone um, Jellicent against the Machamp and maintained Swap, I could have had Swampert against the Typhlosion, uh, Nine Tails against the Gyarados, and this would have been a very straightforward matchup. Uh, so definitely going into Jellicent was the um, win con there. I am going to be able to rip off a ton of Flutter Balls against this Typhlosion, uh, but it really doesn't matter. They're at 100 energy here. They're going to Blast Burn me. Definitely going to let it go on the Nine Tails. Uh, and then they've got another Blast Burn. I have to shield this um, because I'd be getting very low if I did not. Uh, and then they're very smart. They decide to swap out uh, because um, they didn't want to get farmed down. Uh, we're going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball, but this is not going to be enough damage. Uh, it does about 60% to Gyarados, and then uh, this Crunch is going to be able to take us out. Um, yeah, it's possible that if I didn't shield the Blast Burn from Typhlosion and saved it for the Crunch, I might have been in a better spot. Uh, but honestly, my health at the end there was within Blast Burn range, I'm pretty sure. So I would have just got Dragon Breath down. So uh, I don't think there was all that much I could do once I uh, lost Switch. So definitely maintaining Switch uh, was important. And Jellicent into the, the champ was better, uh, the better way to do that. But that's why you play uh, new teams, is you learn, learn the right strategies. So nobody's perfect the first time with a new team. All right, we are into the next battle. We have Nine Tails into Obstacoon. Uh, so this is fairly favorable. I can't really swap out because Obstacoon dominates um, the Jellicent. So I need to stay in this. Uh, and um, I think that the best way to play this is to actually uh, go straight Water Ball. They actually come into uh, their own Alolan Nine Tails, though. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Jellicent. Um, and if they're running Psy Shock, this is a very positive matchup. Yeah, they're just running Psy Shock. You guys can see that doesn't deal very much damage at all. Uh, the Powder Snows are resisted. Um, I can easily tank another Psy, so Psy Shock here, so there's no need to shield. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw a Shadow Ball. Uh, and this is going to deal uh, well over half of their HP. Yeah, it does a nice chunk there. We're going to be able to get to another Shadow Ball here. Uh, I need to throw right away because uh, they were basically one Powder Snow away from the Psy Shock. Uh, they decide to let it go, uh, which is good for me. Come back in with Obstagoon, and they're going to have to throw a Night Slash, obviously, to take me out. Uh, I'm just going to let it go. Um, I've got lots of energy on my Alola Nine Tails to handle this. Uh, they decide to undercharge that, actually, uh, which is a nice play by them. It kind of puts me in an awkward spot. So I throw the Ice Beam, and I'm going to go ahead and swap into Nine Tails and go for the Dazzling Gleam right away. Uh, this does force a shield. I probably should have just gone for the uh, Weather Ball because it was very likely that they shielded. Uh, we're going to be able to throw one Weather Ball here against this Clefable, uh, and really we just want to get it into Hydro Cannon range, so we're going to go for another Weather Ball. Uh, and it's quite low now, so we're going to look to come in with our Swampert and uh, look to get off a um, Hydro Cannon here. Uh, we actually CMP tie though, so I'm going to shield up this uh, Meteor Mash, and then I'm going to undercharge this um, Hydro Cannon. I really want to have energy coming out of this matchup to threaten the Obstacoon, so I no bubble that, and this is going to be uh, just basically the perfect amount of health to um, Mudshot down. They actually swap out into their Obstacoon, and it's critical that I don't shield that first Night Slash. I know they're going to get another Night Slash off, and you guys can see that they got the boost. If I had shielded the first one, the second Night Slash definitely would have taken me out, going to try and uh, get off this next Hydro Cannon. Hopefully this will KO. Does not quite KO, so I'm going to try and swap to catch a move. I'm not able to catch a charge move. We do get a Mud Shot through here, though, uh, so I need to shield up this Night Slash. 
um, and we're able to block that. The Mudshot KOs, and then the Clefable goes down to one Mudshot as well, and we're able to take that battle. Uh, so, really close matchup there. Um, well played by my opponent there. Uh, definitely recognizing that um, the Obstacle was going to be key, uh, and they preserved it quite well, but fortunately I was able to uh, sort of dance around that matchup uh, get lots of energy on uh, my Swampert and uh, that let me take it out. So 4-1 in that set, so uh, pretty pleased with that. Should um, be a nice boost in ranking yet. We're up to 3198 here. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the second set. Uh, again, waiting for a, a match here for a little while, so I'm going to go, oh, there we are. All right, so in this battle, we've got nine tails into Obstagoon. So um, I think that the best way to play this is actually to go up for uh, the Dazzling Gleam, but then throw Weather Balls. Um, even if you land the Dazzling Gleam, you still need to land a Weather Ball afterwards. And I think that three Weather Balls KOs uh, regardless. Um, so I think just going straight Weather Ball actually is the safest way to play this. I'm going to go ahead and shield because they could have had Gunshot there. However, now that they've revealed the, revealed the cross shop, um, I feel pretty safe in that matchup. Uh, they come into um, a lowly nine tails, so uh, this is very similar to the last game. I'm going to go into my Jellicent here. Uh, however, this time my opponent has Dazzling Gleam, so totally fine. I'm uh, going to go for a Shadow Ball, um, and I know that I can get to the second Shadow Ball before they get to the second Dazzling Gleam, so I'm just going to throw the second Shadow Ball right away. Uh, I definitely don't want them to get to another Gleam, um, and uh, really maintaining swap here is quite important. They decide to shield, uh, which is interesting. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let this go, um, because both Swampert and Ninetales can handle um, the Obstagoon. My opponent still has a fair bit of energy, uh, and so I go for the Weather Ball onto um, the Alola Ninetales there. Uh, and they actually catch it on the Obstagoon, which is totally fine with me. I'm just going to Weather Ball again, take out the Obstagoon. Uh, and then we'll have to see what they've got in the back. Uh, it is their own Jellicent, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I want to either force the shield or get the damage. Uh, we do force the shield. We're going to go into Swampert now, and I really uh, need to call the bait here, so I'm going to no shield this, thinking that they go for the Bubble Beam, and they do, in fact, go for the Bubble Beam. Uh, very good for me. Um, going to no shield this as well. I know the Shadow Ball is going to deal the most damage, so I need to save the shield for the Shadow Ball. Uh, we're able to um, build up a bit of extra energy and then go for the Hydro Cannon here. This is definitely going to take them out. Uh, and then we just need to get to this Earthquake. I don't think they have enough energy for the Shadow Ball here, so I no shield it. It's another Bubble Beam. Uh, really glad I made that call. Um, and at this point, I'm double debuffed, so this doesn't deal too much damage. Uh, but what we're going to do is build up here and then look to swap into our Nine Tails. Uh, and if this is Shadow Ball, great. Uh, I can get to the Earthquake. If it's Bubble Beam, totally fine. I can threaten a shield uh, still with. Uh, the nine tails. Uh, so they go for the Shadow Ball here now, finally, uh, and that means I'm going to cleanly be able to get to this Earthquake. Uh, I had the shield there in case they got to another move, uh, but that's going to be a good game. The Earthquake definitely would have taken them out, and my opponent knows it, so they decide to surrender the match. There we are into the next battle here. We've got nine tails into the champ. Uh, so the way I like to do this is build up to the weather ball and then try and catch a cross shop on Jellicent. Um, if you're lucky, you'll catch the cross shop. I didn't think I caught it here. Uh, and in fact, they throw the rock slides. So totally fine. Uh, they come into a bomb of snow. Uh, and this is totally fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and throw the shadow ball here. This does about half their health. Uh, and the Powder Snows are resisted, so they really have to throw the Energy Ball, uh, and I'm totally fine to just let this hit me and then come back in with a little Nine Tails and get ahead on Energy. So they hit me with the Energy Ball, uh, not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to come in with a Nine Tails here and go for the Weather Ball. 
I'm going to no shield this. I think it's an energy ball and it is, but uh, I really need to save the shields for my Swampert in the back. We're able to uh, get off a weather ball there and actually able to get one more powder snow. Um, it's a talon flame coming in, so I'm going to throw a weather ball to soften it up and then I'm going to swap to transfer the damage. Uh, we are able to transfer the damage there. Uh, we've got a pretty significant energy lead because they threw one more incinerate. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do here is um, take the shields with hydro cannons. So need to shield everything from this Machamp. I would get way too low if I let a cross shot hit me. So I'm going to shield this. I'm uh, going to build up to the back to back again. Need to shield another cross shot here. Uh, going to build up to the back to back. They're probably going to shield this. Um, I've got as much energy as I possibly can uh, to threaten this Talon Flame coming back in. I'm uh, going to throw right away. Uh, this counter won't register uh, because uh, I'm taking out the Machamp. I'm going to throw two more Mud Shots and then swap to catch the move. I knew that they were one Incinerate away. Um, and so able to catch the Flame Charge on the Ninetales. And then uh, because uh, I threw those two Mud Shots, uh, I was able to just throw one more to get to the Hydro Cannon before the Incinerate damage went through, and that's able to take out uh, the Talon Flame. Uh, so really key there that I was able to catch the move on the um, Alola Ninetales. Uh, that is the risk of using a Pokemon like Talon Flame, uh, is it can be very easy to predict when you're going to throw the Charge move. Um, and that makes it uh, easier to catch on another Pokemon. So, Lapras on the lead, lead just going to go straight into Jellicent, uh, and they come into Dragonite, so this is totally fine with me. Uh, going to go for the Ice Beam, this is either going to one-shot or get a shield, uh, and I'm just going to no-shield this um, Jellicent, because uh, my Alolan Ninetales has such a strong matchup, so no shield going up here. If it's Dragon Claw, I'll get to another Ice Beam. It's an Outrage, so they're able to take me out. Uh, I just barely didn't get there. But now they've shown Outrage, so they have a double dragon moveset, so there's absolutely nothing they can do to threaten this um, Alolan Ninetales, so I don't need to shield. Uh, you can see Dragon Claw does nothing at all, uh, going to easily be able to farm down. Uh, and now Lapras comes in, I can go straight for the Dazzling Gleam, this is going to deal about half of their health if they let it go through. They do let it go through, uh, and I'm just going to um, shield up the Surf and then swap into... Um, the uh, Swampert. So looking to um, build up here and land an Earthquake. Uh, I am going to actually go ahead and shield my Swampert because since they didn't swap out, it suggests that whatever they've got in the back is weak to Swampert. So I'm going to build up as much as I can, go for the Hydro Cannon bait. Um, if they don't shield, I'll throw another Hydro Cannon, which would take them out unless they shield it again. They do shield, so I can throw one more Mud Shot and get to the Earthquake. Uh, they have the energy for the Surf now, but they did. They were just getting it there. And that's a Clefable in the back. So this is going to still be pretty tight. Going to go for the Hydro Cannon here. Uh, and then uh, it's up for debate here whether I should go for the Earthquake or go for another Hydro Cannon. I decide to go for another Hydro Cannon. Um, this isn't quite going to be enough to KO, but I'm going to swap now into my Alolan Ninetales and I'm able to get to the Weather Ball before they can get to a Charge move. Uh, so able to take them out here. Uh, I think that going for the Earthquake um, on the Swampert rather than a second Hydro Cannon might have been the safer play. Uh, but of course, if I didn't get to the Earthquake, it would have been really bad. So um, using the Al Alola Ninetales was maybe better anyway. So. All right. Getting into the next battle here. Scroll ahead. All right, here we go. We've got Nine Tails into Escavalier. Very bad matchup. I'm going to go straight away into Jellicent, and they meet that with a Kingdra. So uh, this is all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Shadow Ball. Um, with Shadow Ball Ice Beam, there's no baiting. Just going straight for the nukes here, uh, and they decide to shield. Uh, that's not good for me. I really want to get a shield advantage so that my Swampert can sweep endgame. Uh, I'm going to no shield this. It is an outrage, but I'm able to survive and get off this Shadow Ball. That is absolutely huge for me. Jellicent, you monster. You're such a tank. Uh, and now we can come in with the Alolan Ninetales and just farm down 
uh, for a ton of energy here. We don't need to heal anything from this Kingdra. Octazook is a bad move, uh, doesn't deal very much damage, um, and the Dragon Breaths aren't going to deal anything at all. So Octazook comes through, not a ton of damage. We do get the attack debuff, but that's just more farm. Going to swap out right away. They come into their Escavalier and then swap into their Swampert. Uh, and we've got an energy advantage here, so we should be in a pretty good spot. We're going to go for um, the Hydro Cannon. They're definitely going to look to shield one of these, probably. Uh, actually, they might just let them go. So I'm going to shield up the Hydro Cannon. I think it will deal more damage than a Drill Run from uh, Escavalier. If the Escavalier has Megacorn, uh, then obviously that would deal more. But they don't usually run that in the Premier Cup. I'm going to go for another Hydro Cannon here. Uh, and now we're going to look to actually mud shot down, uh, and we're just barely able to do it. I'd be happy to take another hydro cannon there if I had to. Uh, we've got back to back hydro cannons here. This should be getting a shield for my opponent. Uh, it does. We can throw another hydro cannon, uh, and then we're going to look to uh, swap into the Alola Nine Tails uh, and throw a Weather Ball. Um, my Alola Nine Tails has, has enough health here that none of their charge moves will KO. So I'm going to be able to get off both of these Weather Balls, which is going to be more than enough damage to take out the Escavalier. Uh, you guys can see a Drill Run does about 35% maybe. Uh, and so this Weather Ball is going to be able to take them out, and that's going to be a good game. So able to recover from a very bad lead there uh, with Jellison on that safe squad. Go ahead to this last battle. All right, hopefully we can uh, win this one and get the big 5-0. We've got Alolan Ninetales into Dragonite. That is the dream. Uh, I'm going to build up to the Weather Ball and try and catch a Cross Chop onto the Jellicent. It looks like we were able to. We did catch the Cross Chop. That's very good for us. Um, that's basically wasted energy. Uh, because it does almost nothing. Going to go straight for the Shadow Ball on this Machamp before they get to a Rock Slide. Uh, they decide to let it go. They might have thought I was going for Bubble Beam Bait. This is really good for me. I can get to this Ice Beam, uh, and this is going to either take them out or force a shield. Uh, we are able to force a shield. Super good for us. Uh, and then they do a very good job of counting and throw as I'm getting the Ice Beam here. Totally fine. I can come in with nine tails. I have the weather ball stored, uh, and probably I'll just throw it right away. Uh, they actually swap out into stun fist, so I, so I can go into my swampert, and my opponent sees uh, the swampert and knows that that match is over. Uh, swampert against um, Galarian stun fist is a dominant matchup, uh, and um, obviously nine tails against the dragonite is also dominant. So uh, good game there. Um, but you guys can see that. When they swap into the Machamp there, uh, I think the better response is to go to Jellicent. That worked out much better in that second set than when I had the same situation in the first set and I swapped into Swampert. Um, so uh, I definitely think that that is the right way to play that. Uh, but able to go 9-1 um, and one across those two sets. So uh, very pleased with that. We'll have to see what we get up to in terms of rating. Looks like we're going to get up to... 32.77, so should make the leaderboard with that, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.